Hi guys! So today we're gonna do a quick little haul. I went shopping, I bought a few stuff. So let's start. And if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It's free and you'll get a notification when we do videos. When we do a video. So let's start with the I'm gonna start with the makeup because um it's just less and it's funner to me, so I'm just I don't know if fun is a word, but we're gonna start with the makeup. So I bought um a few stuff in the drugstore. I've so I came across this foundation, it's called the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Girl and it's supposed to last for 24 hours. I have tried it on when I was going out. I do like it and I have it right now so let me know what you guys think about it. I'm also thinking about doing a review on it. So it's supposed to last for 24 hours. Um, I got the color Classic Tan, it was the last dark color. Well there's not many shades which is the weirdest part. I was having so much trouble because I was like oh, that can't be the darkest color. Um, but I am. So I'm going to do a review on it, so keep in touch. So that's why you guys should subscribe so you guys can see when I do the review. Then I bought three lip pencil from Rimmel. The first one I bought is this kind of like this mauve color, and it is called Epic. Which is the number 45. And it's, it's a little bit comes out a little bit nude, but with a hint of like brown. It's cute when you want to like put a new gloss. This is a great color. I also put it for every day. Like I'll go to work with a lip liner. Um, the next color I bought is this nudish color, and this is the color Tiramisu, and this is the color 50. I know this is one of like their most famous color, um, so it's just a new color. And the last color I bought is um, it's called Call Me Crazy, and the number 104, which is one of the colors I have on right now. I have it underneath my what is it? oh one of the lip liner fell. I have it underneath. This is called Red Square from NARS and it makes just the perfect orange red especially for my skin color especially when I'm tan it looks perfect so then I stopped by Sephora I just meant to look around Sephora but you can never go to Sephora just to look so let me start with what I got I don't know why I just came out so sassy right there but the first thing I tried on I want to take it out the first thing I try on is the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow and I fell in love with this like orangey eyeshadow. I'm gonna put it a little bit closer so you guys can see. I fell in love with this orangey eyeshadow, which is one of the eyeshadow I have on my lid. And this eyeshadow is called RTW. I literally took my fingers and I was just like putting it all over my lid in Sephora. And I walked around Sephora and then I was like, hold on, I think I want this um eyeshadow. And it's not expensive. It literally just cost me $12. And it's you have a MAC palette, it's not fully filled. Like my palette is not, it fits. So you can fill it up with Anastasia and MAC eyeshadow. Um, they also had another eye color that I want. It's like this mauve color with glitter. I think my sister was talking about it. But I'm also gonna go back to get that. And if you guys ever try like Anastasia's lip gloss and matte lip pencil, oh, matte lipsticks, go check it out. They last for such a long time. The next thing I fell in love with in Sephora is this little like makeup pack um box and I didn't notice until right now when I'm filming the video it's supposed to be like a French box it's Sephora's favorite essential for French look so that's cool <laughs> it comes with so many goodies so I've been one of those person that I've wanted the um Touche Clat from Evie um Saint Laurent but I've never like Went to swatch it. I never went to like even get a sample of it. I don't know why. I just always just passed by it. And it came in the package and I was like, okay, maybe now is the time. Got cut off because I received another thing that I'm gonna show in the video, which I'm super excited about. But let's go with the Sephora um cheeky easy. That's what it's called. Cheek easy. I can never say the word cheek. It sounds like cheek to me, but you guys know what I'm saying. Um so let's open so as you can see, you get a, like a small Makeup Forever black pencil, the Touche Clat, which I believe is full size. Um, we get a dry shampoo, which it's always great to try on new dry shampoos. And this smell, this it smells so good. It's like an orange, um, oily like perfume. I like the scent orange. I'm into that. Um, a Lori Moisture tinted moisturizer and a red nail polish from Formula X. Uh, I think I believe it's the full size of the NARS Jungle Rest, which is one of the lipsticks that I've been like wanting forever. And uh, what's it called? Carter Lead 
spray water I don't really know what it's called but it's like the best thing for when you like in the night you're doing your skincare afterwards just spray a little bit of this you're gonna feel so refreshed so if you guys want to go check it out go check it out on sephora.com or stop in the store so you guys could test it out for yourself so let's go okay so then I stop in Aldo and Aldo's accessories and every time I go to Aldo's accessory I always get like they have like the best accessory I bought these little cross earrings and they're very dainty very long I think they're perfect for a night out or even if you can get, hang out with your friends the next thing I bought is these little studs and what I love about them is the last one I love how super huge they are I never use the small ones but you never know when you want to use small studs so it's a pack so it's great if you guys love like those big studs I would recommend these they last for a very long time and they don't get old the next thing I bought you guys ready for this this is like my favorite thing the next thing I bought are these sunglasses from Aldo I am one of those person that hate buying like non-brand sunglasses I don't know why I just feel like they look super cheap but these don't look cheap and I love how super huge they are love the color um, they're mirrors, so you probably saw my sister holding the camera there for a while. Um, it's just great. I'm going on a trip pretty soon, and these are going to be the sunglasses. My flight leaves at 5 a.m. So if you guys want to see what's in my travel bag or how I pack my suitcase, definitely let me know. I'll probably just still do it. Even if you guys don't let me know, I'm still going to do it. Um, so these are going to be my sunglasses so when I get out the plane. So the next, I also went to Charlotte Roos and I bought one thing. One thing that I always buy in Charlotte Roos are the heels and the shoes. They have like the best shoes. So I bought these nude little, they're thick heel and they're nude and they're great. The only con about these shoes are I can only have it on for like five minutes and they start killing me. Especially like the arch. So if you guys know any like, kind of like, advice you could give me on what to put on the shoes i also bought some little like sm um shoe soles but i don't know they weren't helping but i love the shoes and i'm still gonna wear them so these are from shadow Wood. so the next thing i bought i stopped in all culture i have three body suits this is a charlie Wood bag this is not a little culture bag but it's pink you guys know it's from love culture so i ordered this bodysuit from loveculture.com and it's just the cutest bodysuit ever. It's a plunge bodysuit and it also like has this strap like a halter top. It looks so nice out, especially with white jeans. I feel like it will look really nice. The next bodysuit I have here is this, oh, they're all tangled up. It's this, um, it's really basic, this one. Hmm. Okay, it's a basic bodysuit and it's um cream. They're all like kind of wrinkly because I just stuffed them in the bag. And it's great for when you're going out to cook out. And the back is off. The next one, which is this is my third one and my favorite bodysuit. Oh my gosh, you guys, where am I gonna wear this out? You guys have to help me. How am I gonna accessorize this? What makeup am I gonna use with this? <laughs> I love this bodysuit, you guys. Um what's happening? So this is the plunge bodysuit also is light pink. And it has lace detailing all around. The back is also has the back out, but it has some strap, which is the my con of the body. So I hate straps in the back because it makes just everything look too tight. So yeah, the bodysuit, and it's a thong bodysuit. That's my first thong bodysuit. So I want to see how it's gonna go. So the next thing is what I got from Gold Jane. So let me try to open. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna open it out. Yeah. So I hate the smell to it. It smells horrible. If you guys ever order from Gold Jane, this is my first time. It just doesn't smell that nice. But so I got a little romper um, with a train in the back. So it's kind of like a dress romper. I guess that's what it's called. I don't know actually what's the term. You guys know the term. Please put it down in the bottom bar. And it's the plunge. Everything with me has to do with plunge. Sorry if you guys haven't noticed. It's a plunge tie dye um, romper, as you can see. It has a long train in the back, and I like that because sometimes it with romper your little like butt cheek is hanging out. We don't want that, so this is gonna hide that. 
And they also gave me a little sample of this Revlon um, hair treatment. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. So that's really nice of them. I didn't know. That was just like a surprise. So this is my haul. I hope you guys like it. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe. Go follow me on Snapchat, Instagram. I'm not that much on Twitter. But if you go follow me, maybe I'll go back on Twitter. Who knows? I hope you guys like it. Have a nice day. I'll see you in my next video.